Water is an excellent solvent. A solvent is something that can dissolve other substances, like salt. I can dissolve salt into water, which means the salt is going to eventually disappear as it mixes with the water. Now, some things don't dissolve in water, like this cooking oil. I can mix and mix and mix, but the cooking oil is never gonna be able to dissolve. Water is a polar molecule. That is a molecule that has partial charges. The oxygen has a partially negative charge and the hydrogen has a partially positive charge. Since water is polar and has charges, it will only dissolve other things that have charges as well. So there are two kinds of substances that will dissolve water polar covalent compounds and also ionic compounds. Polar molecules are molecules that look just like water with partial charges, like sugar. And ionic compounds are compounds that are composed of positive and negative ions. When an ionic substance like salt, sodium chloride, starts to dissolve, the sodium and chloride ions split apart and they get surrounded by the water molecules. So what are we gonna learn in this video? Well, first we'll learn about the different parts of a solution. And then we'll learn about the difference between a dilute and a concentrated solution and how to express the concentration in units of molarity. Cellular fluid, blood, tree sap, these are many solutions in living things. And the solutions inside of living things are ones that have water as the solvent. A solution is made up of two parts, a solute and a solvent. The solute is the substance that dissolves into the solvent. Like mixing salt into water, the salt is the solute Water is the solvent, and together they are the solution. Solutions can be concentrated or they can be dilute. A dilute solution means that there is very little solute that is dissolved in the solvent. Solutions become more concentrated as more and more solute is dissolved. There is a point at which the solvent cannot hold any more solute. When that point is reached, a saturated solution has been formed. A saturated solution is a solution that has the maximum amount of solute dissolved in the solvent. There are different ways to measure the concentration of a solution. Each method compares the amount of solute to either the amount of solvent or the total amount of solution. Molarity, molality, parts per billion, parts per million, percent solution. There are many different ways to measure the concentration. We're going to stick with the first one in this list, molarity. Molarity is defined as the moles of solute per liter of solution. Mole is a unit used to measure the amount of a substance. It's the standard unit used to measure amounts in chemistry. Mole is a quantity much like dozen is a quantity. When we say a dozen, we are really saying 12 things. Moles are used when we are talking about massive quantities, like how many atoms or molecules there are. So when we say mole, we are really saying 6.02 times 10 to the 23 things. So having two moles of solute molecules would be the same as saying 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 solute molecules. The symbol for molarity is capital M. So we read this solution of sodium chloride as 6.0 molar solution of sodium chloride. That means there are 6.0 moles of sodium chloride solute particles per liter of solution. The equation to calculate molarity is moles over liters. Let's try using this equation. Determine the amount of solute in 350 milliliters of a 3.5 molar solution. We know the equation is moles divided by liters of solution. So if we want to solve for moles, we can rearrange the equation by multiplying both sides by the volume in liters. So moles is going to be equal to the concentration in molarity times liters of solution. The concentration is 3.5 molar. Remember that molar, capital M, really just means moles per liter. And the volume of solution is 350 milliliters. We need to make sure the units of volume match the units of concentration. In this case, it's moles per liter. Our volume is in milliliters. We need to convert the milliliters to liters before we plug it into the equation. For every liter, there are 1,000 milliliters. So 350 milliliters times 1 over 1,000 will give us 0.35 liters. Really, we just divided 350 milliliters by 1,000. Now we can solve for moles. 3.5 molar times 0.35 liters equals 1.23 moles of solute. So did you learn everything in this video? Well, if you did, you learned that a solution is made up of a solute that is dissolved in a solvent. There are many ways to measure the concentration of a solution. Molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution, and you learned how to calculate the moles of a solute if you know the concentration and volume of the solution.